Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson 18, and in tonight's lesson, we will be adding and subtracting more than two fractions at a time. Previously, we've just been working with a couple of fractions at a time. So let's take a look at a couple of those problems, and I'll work through some of them for you. Let's take a look at problem number one. We'll read together, and we'll do a couple of these. Uh, let's see. We are going to show one way to solve each problem. Express sums and differences as a mixed number when possible. Use number bonds when it helps you. Part A is partially completed. Let's take a look at part A and see what we can make of it. Part A already has one-third plus two-thirds plus one-third. And it looks to me like what they've done here is they have basically, I'm going to sort of draw in the number bonds that I think they used, they have basically combined one-third and two-thirds already. One-third and two-thirds makes three-thirds. And then they need to add in the remaining number, the remaining fraction. So they've combined the two to make three-thirds. They're adding in the other third. And that gives them one plus one-third. And we would express that as the mixed number one and one-third, which is as requested, right? We are going to be um, expressing it as a mixed number when possible. So let's take a look at part H over here, a more difficult problem, and see if we can make sense of that and solve it in one of our ways. So we have one and three-fifths minus four-fifths minus one-fifth. And I think we can do a couple of things with this. One thing that we could do is that we could use a number bond to break one and three-fifths into parts. We're working in fifths, so our one whole is the same as five-fifths, right? And we still have three-fifths left over. So that is the same as, let's see, eight-fifths. And over on this side, I think we can combine, let's see, we can combine the minus four-fifths and minus one-fifth, let's see, so minus four-fifths minus another fifth, that would be five-fifths, right? The total that we'd be subtracting, we subtract four of them here, and then we subtract another one for a total of five-fifths. And now we can express this as eight-fifths minus five-fifths. So look what we've done here. We've broken our mixed number into a whole and parts and expressed them all in fifths. So these are eight-fifths. And we've combined the two parts of our subtraction, minus four-fifths and minus one-fifth, into minus five-fifths. And now we can go ahead and do that uh, subtraction problem. So eight-fifths minus five-fifths, let's see, is three, and where our units is our fifths. And that's our answer. It's, it, we don't need to express it as a mixed number because we can't. It's already a simple fraction. It's not an improper fraction, just a simple fraction. Okay, let's take a look at another problem later that utilizes this same problem in number H. Uh, number 1h. I thought we were done with this problem, but number 3 gives us new directions. You gave one solution for each part of the problem of problem 1. Now, for each problem indicated below, give a different solution method. Wow, okay. So that's a little bit of a puzzler. Let's see. We could do this in a different way, I guess. We could say, let's see. I'm going to use a red pen this time. We could break our 1 and 3 fifths, just like we did before, into 5 fifths and three more fifths, right, for a total of eight fifths. And then, this time we could do this. We could bring down this number, this minus four fifths. And we're going to bring this down later as well. But we could go ahead and just do that subtraction first, right? Eight fifths, eight fifths minus four fifths is, let's see, that would be four fifths. But now we have to go ahead and bring down this last part. We have to subtract one more fifth. So we've got one more fifth there. And now we have 4 minus 1, and we're working in fifths, and so our answer would be 3 fifths. Again, same answer as before. So this time we broke it down with our number bond into 8 fifths, but this time rather than combining these two into negative 5 fifths, well, we went ahead and just did them one at a time, right? We, we subtracted off the 4 fifths first, we got our answer there, and we subtracted off our last piece down here. Getting, ending up with this. So there's a number of ways we can do it. Um, we can go ahead and do the additions first, the subtractions first, the splitting first. We can do any one of those processes first, second, or third. And we can solve these problems in a bunch of different ways. And it's a good thing because we get our same answer every single time. All right. Well, thanks for, uh, for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again the next time. Bye-bye.